want to point out a few things, a few of the things that it has, uh, a little bit of the damage that it still has related to the wreck that it was in. It's mostly cosmetic, but uh, here's a few of the things that it does have. It has, uh, it has a hypercharger right here. This has been added to the bike. Um, it has the Mustang seat. It has um, aftermarket pipes. They're kind of loud. You may want to get a baffle, and less loud your thing, then you'll like them a lot. Um, just a minute, I'll fire it up and let you hear it run. Um, it does have the, the, the floorboards. Um, what else have we got here? Um, oh, the paint job. This is kind of a hot rod, silver. It's a matte finish. It does have a hardener in it, so if you spill gas or anything on it, it will not affect the finish. It, it stays kind of a matte like that. It's, it's a really cool finish. Um, that's all been done really recently. It has, um, it's been uh, gone through by Yamaha within the last few months. It had a recall on the transmission. All these Yamahas did that year. They had a little pin that would sometimes lock up. So that was a national recall. It has had that done. So Yamaha did just go through the transmission and a portion of the engine. So that's all been redone and is all fresh and ready to go. The bike runs good. It rides good. A few of the things that it will need is um, these handlebars. They, they're pretty straight, but they're this portion of the handlebars got a little bit bent out this way. We bent them back, but it still doesn't feel just right when I'm turning a corner. Sometimes this arm feels like it's out further, so you may want to invest in a set of bars. They're $100 online. Um, these right here are slip covers for the forks. They have a little bit of damage from when it got laid down right here, and this one's the worst right here. It got damaged here. Again, the forks work just fine. It's just cosmetic. If you want, you could split these and take them off and it would be fine also. It's just up to you whether you want to replace them or just get rid of them all together. I just kind of left them on for now. Um, I have a, re a reflector here that's broken, so that's something else that would have to be um, addressed. There's a cover right here that's chrome that covers up the fuel pump. It's, it's, I have it, but this little bracket that attaches to is bent right here. Couldn't get it to straighten. I didn't bother calling Yamaha to see what it would cost to get this little, it's this little metal bracket here that the chrome cover attaches to. I do have the cover that will come with the bike. I also set, have a, it had a set of hard bags for uh, traveling for the back, for your luggage or whatnot. One of those was damaged in the accident. I still have it, but I do have both bags. One of them is untouched, so I do have one perfect bag that will come with the bike. Um, it does have the sissy bar and the backrest for your passenger. Um, so it needs a few cosmetic things still to be perfect. Oh, this mirror was broken off. Obviously this side of the bike was the most effective when it got put down. Uh, this mirror broke off. I haven't bothered to replace it. That one's still usable. Um, so that's just a few of the things. It is rideable currently. Um, it just needs a, a few things to make it perfect. So that's a little bit about the bike. Um, I'll go ahead and fire it up and ride it down the street, let you hear, what, hear it and see what it looks like. on the back on the fender of the tire. You'll watch when I let the pressure out. Oops. Okay, it was all the way out. Now I'm going to pump it up and raise it. You see how the bike's going up? And the film does it show. Okay. You'll see it in a second when I let it down. It's quite dramatic. So, I mean, you can push it clear up here like that for a passenger. You see the distance here is quite, it's gotten quite large now. When I release the pressure, bike down. So it's, it's a pretty cool feature. I mean, it's... Go ahead and pump it back up here a little bit for rideability. 
and that's about a $1,500 system in and of itself. You get it from Tricky Air. It has a little compressor under the seat, um, and it's fairly new, and it works really well. So that's another kind of a cool feature this bike has, um, and that's it.